problem when you place text from an outside source is that all of the formatting for that text, including the hidden characters, can be imported into your project. You have the ability to turn off certain formatting when you're placing your file, if you choose to file place. So this first example, we copy and pasted the text from Gutenberg.org, and this second example, I imported. If you choose file and place, when you're placing your file, it does not matter if it's an image file or a text-based file, there's an option to show import options. So when you activate that and you select your file, we'll select the same file again, A Tale of Two Cities. It gives you the ability to control what aspects of the formatting, in this case from Microsoft Word, you want to import and bring with you. What I would recommend is if you're not sure and you want to format everything in InDesign, Choose to remove styles and formatting, and then that way you can control everything from InDesign. The second thing that you really need to be aware of is when you copy and paste text, especially when you copy and uh, paste it from a website or a place like Gutenberg.org, is there tend to be a lot of hidden characters. Go to the type menu and at the very bottom choose show hidden characters. When we look at this document, there are a large number of enter or return strikes on the keyboard that are not needed. Uh, spacing between lines of text, we do not want to use two return keys at once. So instead of hitting return a bunch of times to space out these paragraphs, instead you should use the paragraph panel and increase the space after paragraph. You can even force chapter one to start on page two, if that's what you want, by coming to the type menu and inserting a break character, and you can insert a break, a page break character. That will force wherever the cursor is to jump to the next page. So now when we look at page one, it just has a tale of two cities. We would need to do further editing to make it look nice, but chapter one now starts on the next page. You could do that again with chapter two. And no matter where chapter two ends up, it will always force itself to be on the next page. There are also additional uh, return strikes at the end of each one of these lines. Now that's a problem because it's not using our entire text frame. At this stage of your InDesign knowledge, you should at least be able to recognize that they should not be there and you could manually remove them. So you could put your cursor next to the W of wisdom and hit backspace and then space and you can manually remove these hidden characters.